My name is Alex Hawk. Um, I've been a TriMet writer up until recently, really. Um, so over the course of five years of being a TriMet writer, I've noticed TriMet treating bus riders and the bus system, which is the primary mode of transport for TriMet, as nobodies, disposable riders who have no real impact on the system, while treating Max riders and West riders as the prime choice riders of the system. All the while, TriMet continues to violate federal law by cutting bus service, what I've noticed, and expanding on light rail, and the failed West commuter rail for the purchase of two, I believe, uh, diesel multiple units for the West commuter rail service, when the ridership isn't even there. Only, only benefiting crony bureaucrats from CH2M Hill Stace, and Stacy and Whitbeck, while TriMet continues to flaunt its fancy rail service, bus riders in Tigard, Lake Oswego, Tualatin, Oregon City, and Clackamas continue to suffer from little to no service and cuts in existing service. TriMet's proposed Southwest Corridor Enhancement Plan has yet to break ice. Meanwhile, go to TriMet's Facebook and Twitter page and you'll see dozens of MAX-related expansions and service improvements while praising that method of transport alone. Every east side MAX station, this is a comment from my best friend Eric Halstead, by by the way. Every east side MAX station has large oversized shelters, lights, benches, landscaping, sidewalks, and pedestrian crosswalks with warning devices. Every east side MAX station was rehabbed in 1997 and in 1998. Rockwood and Gres Gresham Transit Center were both rehabbed again in recent years. Gresham Civic Center got a second station, Civic Drive, with very easy walking distance to the next platform. Meanwhile, TriMet is actively removing bus shelters, refusing to follow its own guidelines for improving bus stops, and only one in eight bus stops system-wide have a shelter. Many stops have no sidewalk access whatsoever. Others have no safe crosswalks. Very few have a transit tracker sign, and many do not have any transit information like maps and schedules. The couple of million TriMet spends on just one max platform could improve at least a dozen or more bus stops. The cozy side benefits of bus stop improvements are plentiful. Increased safety, better ridership, and better security. Yet TriMet never posts on its Facebook or Twitter accounts about its bus stop quality. In fact, the city of West Lynn took TriMet to task and ended up using city dollars to improve TriMet's bus stops, which TriMet refused to spend a dime on. It is embarrassing for a system as big as TriMet to refuse to invest in high-capacity buses and only has two hybrid buses, while King County Metro has as many hybrid buses as TriMet does regular diesel buses. We do not need BRT for articulated buses. All we need to do is put out a bid for either type of bus and award the manufacturer the, that contract for the bus purchase. TriMet is no longer enjoyable to ride, and I'm disappointed to say that I drove here and paid for parking. While TriMet continues to filibuster the Southwest Corridor plan and move ahead with any light rail project in the books, I'm sorry to say that I will be driving. Thank you.